The Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. Looks like he's cut down the wash, son. You flush him out, I'll pick him up on the other side. A calf with that much spirit's bound to be prime. We don't want to lose him. All right, Bill. Boy! Boy! Hey, you! Boy! Boy, I want to talk to you. Good job, son. Now all we have to do is fix that piece of fence he slipped through. Something wrong, Mark? Well, nothing's exactly wrong. I just I saw somebody back up on that hill. Who was it? I don't know, some stranger. But he had some scars on his on his cheek, like I don't know what. You mean you just looked at him and ran off? Well, don't you think you might have hurt his feelings? I, I didn't take time to think, Paul. <laughs> Hey, sir. Name's Will Temple. Lucas McCain, my son Mark. I didn't mean to startle you, boy, calling out like that. I just wanted to talk. That's all. Maybe it wasn't the calling out that did it. Oh, no, I... I was just looking the place over here. I uh, bought this land a few days back from the town road to the wash. A handsome place. Judge Hanovan told me you'd bought it after he evicted those squatters. Pretty much run down. Like them that lived here before me didn't care too much about keeping things up. They didn't. Same let green land go brown, but I uh, got it at a pretty good price. You say you wanted to talk to Mark about something? Ah, uh, yes. Can you uh, handle a team, boy? Yes, sir. Well, I got a field needs stumping. If I'm going to get anything in the ground come uh, planting time, I'd feel real good about getting the crop in the first year on the place. So I can't afford a full-time hired hand, but uh, give you 50 cents a day. 50? Pa, uh, you remember that watch I was admiring at Miss Millie's? Mm -hmm. You know, you still have your own chores to do at home, son. I know, Pa, but how about if I come over tomorrow after I finish my chores? Well, that suits me fine. Now you've got to be able to hold the team. Yes, sir. Keep a steady strain on the pool. Yes, sir. Pa? Well, it's up to you, son. Won't be easy holding down two jobs. Thank you. I'll be over tomorrow. I'll be fine. Good day, Mr. Temple. Yes, sir. Hey, you're sure 50 cents? 50 cents a day. I'll be there. You know, stumping a field won't be as easy as that last job you took working in a stable. Don't expect so. You figure on getting to bed early tonight? That sure is a handsome watch. Might not be so handsome at sundown tomorrow night. Now, come on, let's get old Slippery back to his ma. She'd be bowing for him. Ah! Ah! Keep a straight on, Mark. She's coming loose. Ah! Ah! Come on, Mark. Hold him on. Ah! Ah! Hold him, Mark. Come on, Mark. Ah! 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 Mark, come on. Get a straight on. Ah! Mr. Temple? Ah, it's time we had ourselves a little rest. Let's make it water. Well, we've done ourselves proud, boy. I'll wait on you. It's polite, boy. Paul taught you good. I 
I'm sorry for staring. It's all right. Drink the water. Thank you. Mark! You know him? Uh, yes, sir. That's Arnie and Jess Grady. They're the squatters Paul was telling you about. You fixed a dirt farm in this poorly land? <laughs> Maybe you don't hear good. I just asked you a question. A right easy one. What do you want here? Well, me and Arnie, we was talking just this morning about how we thought it'd be a wholesome idea to come back and see what the old place looks like. Is that all you come for? Well, likely it ain't. We heard tell some scum moved on here after the law moved us off. Folks are all talking about how you never told them where you came from. Why is that? It's none of your business. He is mean. <laughs> you as mean as you are ugly. <laughs> Go on up to the house, boy. I'll stay, Mr. Temple. He's just like his daddy, ain't he, Arnie? Standing up there straight up and proud like. <laughs> Only thing is, he ain't got no rifle standing next to him. <laughs> I want you to get off this land. Hey, that honey, he wants us to get. <laughs> you heard what I said. Now, you listen to me. You're telling us to get, it's the same as inviting yourself into a hole. Our pa and us, we work this land. And no drifting, scar-faced scum is gonna tell us to get. You're trespassing. Use that gun, you'll hang. I don't think you got the stomach to walk up to a rope head on. Take one more step and I'm gonna blow your head off. Go on, Jiz. Go ahead. Go on, Jizzy. Blow his head off, Jiz. Go ahead, boy. on that horse and go. Don't you ever let me catch on this land again. Pull another stump before your paw gets here for you, Mark. You sure had me worried there for a minute. Hello, Paul. That cloud of dust I passed back there in the road. Was that the Grady boys? Well, I guess it was. Sure was, Paul. You should have seen the way Mr. Temple handled Jess Grady. Why, he even took the gun out of... This boy here's put in the right smart amount of work today. Held that lead line like he was born to it. With all that dirt he's wearing, he'd better save some of his wages for soap and water. <laughs> yeah, we got plenty of that up at the house. So I'd uh, take it as a favor if you'd both of you join me for supper. Got a couple of frying chickens already drawed. Sounds good, Pa. Suits so me fine, Will. And maybe after supper I might see which one of you McCain's holds the tall hand of checkers. Why, Pa's the best checker player this side of Denver. Except when I beat him, of course. Now we've got a game. <laughs> I'll take care of the team. Well, where can I wash up? Come on, around. Checkers on the shelf in the closet, Mark. That was your pa's idea that the loser between you and me had spell him washing dishes.
Were you in the cavalry, Mr. Temple? I saw your, your uniform in the closet. Fourth cavalry, wasn't it? All right. Quit the army a while back, Mark. Good. Well, didn't you like it? I always thought it'd be exciting. Uh, wearing a uniform, fighting for your country. Don't ask so many questions, Mark. Oh, it's all right, Lucas. I don't mind. Boys gotta ask questions. It's the only way you can learn. Oh, uh, answer truthful, Mark. I uh, don't think I ever really liked the Army. At least was not at first. Uh, I grew up on a farm. Went off when I was 15 to join the Army. Seemed like a long time ago. Born into this world, a uh, man's gotta fight just to stay alive. Well, it seems like you're always fighting. I fought to stay alive more times than I care to remember. Chickamauga, Shiloh, and after the war, 4th Cavalry fight in Cheyenne. Is that when you hurt yourself? For all that fight and stay alive, come a time when I just wanted to die. Talk to God about it, boy. I purely pleaded with him, but uh, didn't do no good. I guess he wasn't listening. He, uh, this was done to me with fire. Sometimes at night, I can still feel it crawling, burning. Will, were you at Willow Creek with the fourth? Uh, no, no, I wasn't. Oh, we best get on with this game. Otherwise, your dad's gonna be done with them dishes before we even get a king crown. You move first. Past time for feeding the stock and almost time you went to work. I'm sorry. I'll do my chores as soon as I get dressed. Son, I saw Millie yesterday. I ordered your watch. I put up the money for you. You can pay me back when you've earned it. Well, gee, Paul. But I want you to know I did it for a reason. Mark, I'm not only proud of you for the way you've carried yourself like a man ever since you went to work for Mr. Temple. I'm proud of you for something else. You learned not to dislike a man because he's unfortunately scarred and looks kind of unsightly. I know what you mean, Paul. Good. Get dressed. Got some pancakes and maple syrup waiting for you. All right. Good morning, Mr. McCain. I'm Lieutenant Vaughn, 4th Army Provost Office. How do you do, Lieutenant? Would you come in? No, thanks. Marshall said you could tell me how to find Will Temple's place. Oh, sure. You follow the road to the fork, you'll see an old wagon trail cutting across a dry wash. You follow that wash down to the hill, you'll see his place. Much obliged. By the way, uh, what kind of a fellow is this Temple? Well, I don't know too much about him, but I judge he's a good enough man. Is his real name Will Temple? His real name? Well, you see, the Army's looking for a man. Uh, William Traeger. I've been trailing him the better part of three months now. He uh, passed through here a short time back, about the time the Marshal said this Will Temple settled here. What does the Army want with the man you're looking for? He's a deserter. Well, he couldn't be talking about Mr. Temple. He wouldn't desert. Do you know why he deserted? The 4th Cavalry lost nearly a whole troop at a place called Willow Creek. Yes, I heard about it. Traeger was the man that told the Cheyenne where the troop was hidden. 
They captured him when he was riding patrol. I don't believe it was him. Mark. The marshal said that this fellow Temple had a scar on his face. Yes, on the left side. Does it look like it was done by fire? The Cheyenne way of branding a man a coward. I know, Lieutenant. As long as a man lives, the Cheyenne can recognize that mark on him. I don't care what you say. He's not a coward, and he's not a deserter. Mark, you not talk like that. When did he desert, Lieutenant? The well, Cheyenne turned him loose after they hit Willow Creek with a full war party. At least that's what we heard from one of the Braves who we captured later on. But he never went back to his company. I guess he figured the Army thought he was dead. Well, many thanks. I'll be getting along. Oh, I almost forgot. This is for you, son. Miss Millie sent it along. That's your watch, Mark. You know, it could be you're right about your friend, son. I hope you are. Good day. There's times when every man wants to be alone, Mark. Is this one of those times? Yes, sir. All right, sir. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Make me to lie down in green pastures. Make me beside the still waters. Which still at my soul. Leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Thou anointest my head with oil and my cleanse. Come in. What's your name? Your real name, I mean. for me at the fork. He rode scout for the fourth. He's been following me ever since I left the southwest. Carney lost two brothers at Willow Creek. He swore he'd get Traeger if it took him for the rest of his life. ashamed of this scar and what it stands for. That's not the reason I ran away. I stood up to everything the Cheyenne did to me. And when I told, I don't think I even knew it, not then. But you see, boy, God, he didn't, he didn't make us the same way as he made the red man. I guess we're just not as strong inside. You didn't have to run away, though. You could have told them how it was. I, I could have. I could have. Every man in my company knew the Cheyenne Mark. They would have wondered, wondered just how much I endured for I told. And I knew I couldn't go back. All the old faces gone. 
Jason, Hardy, Bellows. Men I rode with a long time, Mark. All gone. Because of one man's weakness. Mine. Trigger! Stay in the house, boy. But... I said stay in the house. Yes, sir. Trigger. What do you want here, Kearney? Now, you think on that a little. Maybe you can figure it out. I followed an army man a thousand miles across the wasteland, knowing he'd lead me to you. Oh, I did the best the Lord gave me strength for, Kearney. Did you now? I would have given my life, but it wasn't to be. Well, I'm going to give you another chance at that. Too bad you couldn't have seen my brother's trigger after the Cheyenne had done with him. I waited for you to come back, but you never did, did you? Get it done with, Kearney. I'll not crawl for you. Turn around, trooper. Is Mark all right? In the house. All right, mister, this is none of your affair. Get moving. I said you'd best get moving. I don't want to have to kill you, too. You've done all the killing you're going to. Now drop that rifle. I've come a long way, mister. And I haven't finished what I come here to do. I'm gonna have to take you to town, Carney. Now you wanna go lying across your saddle or sitting up on it. do to Mr. Temple when he gets back? Court martial. After that, I don't know. Turning himself into Mike will be in his favor, though. And he's not a coward, is he? No, Mark. He's not a coward. I couldn't think bad of him, no matter what. Will he be all right? As long as he keeps making friends like you, Mark, he'll be all right. What time is it? <sighs> Nine o'clock. Oh. Night, Paul. Night, son.